Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin lead the field of 39. Green flags in the air. They stay two by two. The International Horseshoe, Denny Hamlin, has the preferred line in the 11. Press a start by the driver of the 11. We haven't seen anyone go side by side through that little turn two kink. He was able to do it and takes the lead, heading now to the dog leg. It's just a little bit of a left hand turn, but driver's very slick as it heads into the other hairpin. Yeah, Kyle Bush jumping up on the outside. We've seen this pass happen and work several times in the truck race and the Xfinity race outside of that corner. Works pretty well, Kyle Busch making it happen. These drivers are processing so much information right now, trying to understand where the grip level is on this infield course. You see some guys getting more aggressive, more brave with their braking zones, more brave with their throttle on exit. Kyle Busch in that 18 car. He ran the 24 hour race this January. So very, very short time since he's been on this racetrack. Many others in the field had track time, but not many were able to race this year. Yeah, that'll be a great advantage for Kyle for a few laps here early in this race. He wants to take advantage of that while he has it. Two X all over the back of Kevin Harvick. Yeah, Kevin very slow and cautious into this chicane. He obviously watched the Xfinity race yesterday. All the drivers talked about using simulation and all those things, right? But that's by yourself. Now you're racing somebody. True X is going to try to jump inside of Harvick into this front straightaway chicane. These are teammates. Denny Hamlin has the 18 of Kyle Busch chasing after him. Lap one at the road course is led by Denny Hamlin. The first laps ever turned by NASCAR's Cup Series here on the road course. For the lead, Martin Trex Jr. just took it away from Denny Hamlin. Can he hang on to it? Hamlin was fighting back through turn four into turn five. And now Hamlin has to work even harder if he wants to get back up front. Oh, a little contact right there. Hamlin got a little damage on that left front fender from that. Yeah, I'm actually a little concerned about where that fender's pushed in. It might rub when we get up on the high banks. That's where that front tire will load the most. Man. Let's see if we can take a look at this left front as he climbs the traditional banking here at Daytona. Oh, yeah, I see a yeah, little smoke. It's smoking already. Yeah. Still six to go in this stage. Oh, boy. Well, man, as we go here, we'll get you fixed up. Sure, that's a little, right, right. a little bit of an unforced error there, in my opinion. He didn't put up a big fight. So he didn't put up a big fight for this lead. See, Martin Truex Jr. went to the right, and then he just said, there you go, have it. Look at all the room he gave him. Then went to turn and try to get next to him. Then down this back straightaway. Just can't run through here side by side safely. And this early in the race, then he decides to lift, give the spot. So at this point, I think Denny's just kind of conceded the spot, right? Going to run second, try to learn something from Martin. Martin's been faster. Denny turns underneath him, and right here, there's contact. I don't think Martin even thought he was going to be there. I don't, I don't know, guys. I just, if you're going to kind of give somebody a spot, why put yourself in that situation? I agree. Unforced error. And you see in the bottom right of your screen, the 11 of Denny Hamlin called a pit road by Chris Gabehart. The strategy would be to pit around lap 13, which is three laps from now. So, Dave, I don't think this is a huge penalty. Actually, a great call by the crew chief to go ahead and take your medicine and come now. Watch Kevin Harvick's going downshift. Third gear, second gear. Look at how big those curves are when he hits them. You can see him just knocking around in the car. Up to third gear. Kevin always takes his hand and sets right there. See it every week. Let's see how this car is driving through this part of the track. Man, it looks like it's out of control. You see him moving the steering wheel around through turns four there. Like an NASCAR oval. Steve, how hard is this course on equipment? Very. Oh, oh, trouble here. Just as I mentioned that, Alex Bowman in the 88 has a left rear tire that's come down, and actually the carcass is about to come off now. And the big concern right here is, unlike at the ovals here at the road course, there's no interliners. So this left rear tire that is flat, that car is on the wheel. You see it now. The carcass is either disintegrated or falling off. Trying to get here, special hand without ripping it up. 
damage Still wrapped being around done. the wheel. My concern now, crush panels, you see the shiny aluminum in front of the tire, beat all the pieces right here. Brake lines are available. Brake cooling is available to get torn off. So Alex Bowman, not that he can do anything else. You can't stop, but doing the best he can being calm. We've also seen those tires get wrapped around the rear end housing. They can't get it out. There you can see it just pushed it out of there. It comes off, but stays off of the racing surface as Alex Bowman is staying on the apron, trying to get back to pit road as Chase Elliott is coming up on the green and white checkered flag. Chase has won the last two road course races and three of the four stages in the last two road course races. Through the new chicane for the final time of stage one, this will be his sixth stage win of the season. Actually only had five all of 2019. So Chase Elliott grabs stage one at the Daytona International Road Course. Logano and Hamlin making up row one now. Joey Logano, by, by my notes here, has not come to pit road. If that truly is the case, then he has old, old tires, maybe trying to do this on a pit strategy, but he is under attack by Denny Hamlin, who's on the outside. He definitely did not pit. Hamlin's going to try to take advantage of the kink here. Gets to the inside of him. It'll be a little bit of a left-hander, and also Kevin Harvick's going to go along. They'll both go by Logano. Saw the 19 of Martin Truex Jr. take the lead away from Denny Hamlin. Here's how it happened. Yeah, this is going in the back straightaway. Chicane. Trix gets a great run on the exit of the chicane, Jeff. Just too much speed and, and ability through that corner. Looks like that 19 just a little bit better right now. Yeah, a little bit faster. And he, all that got set up really all the way back in turn six, the last corner before you lead on to what is NASCAR turn one and two. And that enabled him to keep that speed up all the way down back straight away and get position on him. And Ryan Blaney been having a good run. The 19 of Martin Truex Jr. gives up the lead to come in for these tires. And by the way, guys, as you start talking about rain, I caught up with James Small, the crew chief for this car this morning when he was eyeballing the rain tires. I said, what about those? He said, I hope we don't have to put them on. I'm not sure Martin Truex has ever run in the rain. We'll find out if that has to happen today. Well, Martin Truex Jr., we talked to him earlier this week, and he mentioned, you know, the Bush North races, go-kart races on road courses. He has road course experience. That's why he's so good right now driving in these cup cars. So at some point in time, I'm sure Martin Truex Jr. has been out there on a road course in the rain. Hey, he's uh. He's got me convinced. I tell you, another driver that has great history when it comes to road courses. He's won out at Sonoma. He had a couple top fives here at the Roval. You know, he's currently in the second position. Why that matters is because he's 14th in points. So he is actually looking pretty good when it comes to the end of the stage. And we're hearing from NASCAR. Oh, boy. Big, big change of events for Martin Trex Jr. on the 19. You see it on the bottom left of your screen. Too fast exiting. Oh boy, when a race and you're only going to see three pit stops, this is going to definitely hurt the 19. Now, luckily, he's so fast that he can serve his penalty and probably stay somewhere in the top 25. But there you go. Pass yeah, we through. can't keep roads closed. I don't really know what they want us to do. Stand by. So, Denny Hamlin, after teammate Martin Truex Jr., comes to pit road before pit road closed, then has a speeding penalty. Denny Hamlin stays out. He's going to get potentially the win here. Looks like a little bit slow coming out of that chicane, but that'll be his fifth stage win of 2020. Chase Elliott, Kurt Busch making up row one. There'll be 26 laps to go from Daytona in the road course. Back underway. Michael McDowell in that 34. Jimmy Johnson in the 48, making up row two as they break into turn one. Jimmy Johnson to be real aggressive right here. Junior, you mentioned it. He was actually to McDowell when that caution came out. He wants that spot right now quickly. He's still there. Oh, he locks oh, up the tire, trying to stay out of the back of the one car. 
A lot of contact with the guys there. Everybody getting into that corner just a little bit too hot. Everybody gets through okay though. But that right front tire, that 48 locked up, and now here he is trying to maintain that fourth position. Chase Elliott, he's, he's hitting he's pit road. Got pit road now for Chase Elliott. Think about the lead he has. Do not speed. No mistakes. Mistakes is what I think about. Remember, that's how trucks go behind the speeding on pit road. And here he comes to you, Dave. Chase Elliott pits leading. Remember, they needed a boost. They've been down a little bit. Chase said this week that they were off. Alec Gustafson confirmed that to me today. So they'll take on four tires and fuel and try to win it and, and, and get right win here at Daytona. There are just over 14 laps now to go and Casgrala is leading right now, but he has not come to pit road right now. Chevrolet looks great. They've got the top six spots locked up. Yeah. Are we leading this thing? <laughs> we are. <laughs> yes, you are. Water temp. Congratulations. You are leading in your first ever cup start, the road course. You see right here the 388, 47, all on lap 38 was on pit road. Look at this slide right here. Oh, oh be careful. Mm. Did all right. They were last on pit road at lap 38. That's a long ways. They can't stretch the fuel. They may choose to have a quicker pit stop and take fuel only like we saw with Reddick, but Chase Elliott is the first guy on fresh tires running fourth. He can make it to the finish. Hard hit, the 18 of Kyle Busch. So caution has come out. Yellow, yellow. And that's not what the 19 of Chase Elliott wanted, but it was definitely what the 11, the 48, the 14, the 19 all wanted. Blew it apart. It will be three laps to go on the Daytona International Speedway road course. Chase Elliott back up through the gears. Denny Hamlin. Here comes the 48. Jimmy Johnson with a good restart. Now a little shove there out of Clint Boyer to the 11. That was a great launch for the nine car. He is very comfortably ahead here. Who's going to give the 11? Denny Hamlin or Jimmy Johnson? Jimmy Johnson gave. That's going to give some run to Truex. Jimmy with the block. Yeah, Truex had to give him a little bit of room there, cut him a break. The pusher in the corner, deep sliding. That blue 17 yeah, he's car. on the outside of the 19 now. That was a good move. Chris Buescher all the way up to fourth. Now he's going to be on the outside. Squeeze Martin a little bit. We've seen this outside work a few times, but Chris is going to have to do everything perfect. Uh, Chris got a little contact from the 24 there. A little slide out of the 19 of Martin Truex Jr. He blocks the 17. Wow, these guys are doing a great job of taking care of each other, not taking each other out. The top three have separated themselves. Can he do it again? Can he make another perfect lap? He's got one more lap to go at Daytona. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Drive off, he's burying it in, all the braking zones. And Danny Hamlin is close enough. If the nine makes a mistake, he will be there. Big arc by the 11, trying to get to the bottom of this corner, have a straight drive off. And he's really wide right there. Doesn't really lose a lot, but he's pushing as hard as he can. Yeah, he's just searching, trying to find something different, trying to find some speed somewhere. You see Truex underneath Johnson behind him. There's a car in front of these two. Will that affect Chase Elliott and the line that he chooses? It's all going to be where they catch that car. Is it in a bad spot, or does he have to find a way by without an issue? Oh, that is a bad spot to get by him. You hope he just Quint pulls House. over. Yeah, there he pulls go. over. Quint House is going to pull over, get out of the way of this battle for the lead. We've seen a lot of issues in turn six today. Very tough braking. The nine does a nice job. Will he get a good acceleration off? There you go, Rick. Two more chicanes to the start-finish line. Andy with a much lower exit, but that nine car just really got out of turn six. So much better, able to put a good distance there. Chase is going to look in the mirror and feel like, man, all right. Got a little more comfort, comfort there between me and the 11. And clearly, Chase Elliott's a little bit quicker, but how about Denny Hamlin? Every week, it seems, we see him battling for the win. Man, Denny drove it in there. <laughs> he did. Way he made it work. Work. Going to get beat on this exit, but Denny Hamlin with a big surge there into, turn, into the rear chicane. Earlier, we heard Mario Andretti talk about 
history and making history. It was a historic event today. The Cup Series running on the road course at Daytona for the first time ever. A big challenge out of Denny Hamlin here one last time. But trying to make history, the nine of Chase Elliott, three road course wins in a row. He's going to win at Daytona. You know, our guys did a, a phenomenal job. Um, I mean, just had a had a phenomenal car. I don't think I did anything very special today. Um, I think Alan and, and Tom and all our guys did a really good job hitting it there at the start. Made a couple really small adjustments. I felt like there that first stop and was able to kind of leave it after that. So just um, appreciate everybody that makes this happen. Thanks to the fans. Uh, good to see you guys back. Appreciate y'all coming out. And uh, yeah, just thanks to all our partners, Chevrolet. Spent a lot of time with them this past week. Big uh, special thanks to Jordan Taylor and uh, Boris said for, for reaching out and, and being willing to help this weekend. Some road, road course ringers. Uh, so tried to lean on them and luckily everything worked out. Chase, on the cool down lap, Alan radioed to you that this is a big one. Been 14 races since you've been in victory lane. How much does this mean to the team heading to the playoffs? Well, it means a lot. You know, we've been struggling these past few weeks um, and, you know, really, really struggled in Michigan, I felt like. So, you know, didn't know for sure if we were going to be good here, but felt like if we were, we really needed to capitalize. I mean, uh, running eighth or seventh or wherever we did at Michigan, um, an extra five bonus points could be the difference in you making it to the next round once this deal starts. So we'll keep the pedal down and try to try to keep pushing. But uh, thanks to all our partners, um, Hooters, Mountain Dew, Kelly Blue Book, uh, just everybody that, that makes this happen. Unifirst, been a great partner and um, looking forward to getting on down the road. Keep the pedal down, ring the siren in Dawsonville. Chase Elliott wins at the Daytona Road Course.